What is going on guys, TVM here, 52 Team of the Week prediction episodes down, and now we've got another 52 to go. This is FIFA 18 Team of the Week predictions episode 1. Get FIFA 17 and FIFA 18 coins extra cheap at x3game.com in association with you FIFA. Use code TVM at checkout for 8% discount, link down below. Unfortunately for this week and this week only, hopefully, we have to contend with the FIFA 17 card design uh, because Footwiz hasn't updated properly where I can look at this screen with the new card design. So just bear that in mind. We've got a mammoth team of the week this week. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be very difficult to top going forward as well. Kicking things off on the subs bench, I might add. 86 rated Ruffier made six saves, kept a clean sheet and picked up a Man of the Match award in a 1-0 win. Keith Ward is our token Irishman this week. He got himself a hat-trick in a 4-1 win. There's a lot of people this week that I can't pronounce the name of and I'm not even going to Google it. It's going to be a learning curve for all of us. Milan Skriniar. Let's go with that. That sounds decent. He got himself a goal, kept a clean sheet and Inter went on to win two goals to nil. Pedro Mendes of Montpellier scored the winning goal and also kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. If this isn't the funniest name in FIFA 18, I don't know what is. Seaman Wangberg. I know, right? He got two goals, kept a clean sheet and picked up a Man of the Match award in a 5-0 win. Martin Rivero got two goals, picked up the Man of the Match award in his side's 3-1 win. Mikhail Ishak or Isak, I'm, I'm not quite sure there, probably just Shaq. He got himself a hat-trick and picked up the Man of the Match award in a 6-1 win. Some really big results out there this week. Now I'm going to have to pause this a second. Leo Silva is not one of the players in Team of the Week predictions, but the player who I'm going to predict to be in there isn't actually in the game yet, and I have no idea what he looks like or anything. So his name is going to be Leandro. He got a hat-trick and picked up a Man of the Match award in a 4-2 win over Niigata, but obviously not in the game yet, so I've got no idea what this guy is all about. Someone we do know all about is James Forrest of Celtic, the final silver player to grace our screen. He got two goals from the right mid position and would actually be a pretty decent looking silver. And now we ditch the silvers. It's gold from here on out, baby. Jackwin or Yakwin, I'm not quite sure how to say it. It's probably Yakwin, right? He got two goals and picked up a Man of the Match award in a 2-1 win over Deportivo. Up next, we're going to drop down the rating slightly. Joseph Martinez, he got a hat trick, not once but twice. Once in a 7-0 win on Wednesday and another one in a 3-3 draw on Saturday. So almost guaranteed that in form. And to complete the subs and indeed the reserves, Edin Dzeko got two goals and picked up the Man of the Match award in Roma's 3-0 win. I know with someone like Rufier on your screen in the reserves, you were probably expecting David De Gea, but unfortunately no, it's Lucas Fabianski. He made eight saves and kept a clean sheet against Spurs, also picking up the Man of the Match award in the process. This probably would have been my favourite card of the team of the week and I would have gone out straight away in FIFA 18 and got him. Unfortunately, he played right back the entire game. Joshua Kimmich got three assists, kept a clean sheet and picked up the Man of the Match award in Bayern's 4-0 win. But as I say, converted from a CM to a right back. Up next, Jeremy Mathieu. Mathieu, not quite sure how to say this one. Before his new club, he managed a goal and he kept a clean sheet and they went on to win two goals to nil. Vasily Berezutsky looks like a, a pretty decent defender. Pace isn't all it's cracked up to be this year. Passing is going to be a big thing, so his work rates in particular are going to help him out here. Very nice looking card. One goal and a clean sheet, and he also picked up the Man of the Match award in a 2-0 win. Now, if you haven't seen this guy's goal, pause the video, go to Twitter, type in Antonio Valencia, and just watch it. It is absolutely sensational. And that's coming from a Liverpool fan. He scored that cracking goal to open the scoring against Everton when they went on to win four goals to nil. I'm going to massively struggle with this one, so I'm just going to call him Charles. Charles managed to get a goal, uh, two assists, and he picked up a man of the match in Bayer Leverkusen's 4-0 win. Dortmund new boy Maximilian Philipp, who will be a position change, by the way, from a centre forward to a left wing in game, managed to open up his account within three minutes by scoring a goal and then doubling his tally about 30 or 40 minutes later. He got man of the match as well, and Dortmund went on to win five goals to nil. Now, just a little something to whet your appetite before we move on to the big three. Radamal Falcao going to hit the ground running in FIFA 18 by the looks of things. He got two goals, one assist and was granted the Man of the Match award in a 3-0 win for Monaco. Now we move on to the big front three. This is the reason, or rather these three are the reasons. 
you're going to want to spend a lot of FIFA points in week one of FIFA 18. Paolo Dybala kicks us off with a hat-trick, a Man of the Match award, and Juve went on to win three goals to one. Hopping off to Belgium very quickly, Dries Mertens got, you've guessed it, a hat-trick, and he was also awarded the Man of the Match in Napoli's 6-0 win. And sticking with 6-0 wins, but hopping back over the sea to Argentina, Sergio Aguero tore apart Watford, unfortunately for them. He got a hat-trick and also got one assist, was awarded man of the match, and like I said before, they went on to win the game 6 goals to nil. That is going to do it for the first episode of Team of the Week Predictions FIFA 18. It's good to be back. I know, I never left. If I've missed anyone, then feel free to let me know down below. If you want a different perspective, go to MPHD. The link can be found in the description down below. He also helped me out on this week's episode a little bit as well. So fair, fair play to him. Thank you very much for doing so. If you have enjoyed it, lads, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. And until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>